How's it going everyone? My name is Clink and welcome back to Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. So today we are going to be finally beginning the treacherous mansion. This massive mansion is filled with exotic exhibits created by its late globe-trotting owner. Oh, and it also contains the strongest paranormal signals ever recorded. Doesn't that just sound lovely and it looks like a king lived here with all the crowns and stuff and why is there a hot air balloon on top? This place is massive from my memory. This is by far the biggest mansion. This is going to have the toughest enemies, toughest missions, everything, especially the fifth mission. Oh, oh boy, are we going to talk about the fifth mission? But uh, well, you've got a few steps to get there. So first, we got the front door key. The paranormal activity in this mansion is completely off the charts. Stay on your toes and start looking for the Dark Moon piece. Luigi, the final Dark Moon piece appears to be located here in the treacherous mansion. But I'm reading the highest levels of paranormal activity ever recorded in the history of forever. No paranormal researcher worth their salt would go near the place. Yep, going in there is an absolutely terrible idea for me. You on the other hand, well, you don't really have a choice. You're the only one who can recover the final Dark Moon piece. But don't despair, son. Look on the bright side. You, um, you, uh, you have a very bushy mustache. We're, you were just complimenting me last time. Sorry, I'm no good at pep talks. Anywho. This here is the front door key for the treacherous mansion. I kind of feel you on the bad of pet talks thing, actually. It'll make getting into a, the mansion a whole lot easier, so don't go losing it. I tried to pinpoint the Dark Moon piece, but there's just too much paranormal interference in there. You'll have to go look for it the old-fashioned way. Good luck, Luigi. You're gonna need it. Oh boy. I'm interested to see this mansion. Like, I, all I remember is the fifth, min no, fifth mission. I remember um, a boss fight that's here that's not the, the end boss, surprisingly. But, like, I don't remember a ton of the rooms. I remember that there's portals that connect some of them. I remember a central staircase. Uh, I don't remember what these first three or so missions are at all, though. I gotta be honest, so I'm really curious to see. But I do remember... The first time entering it it is burned into my memory and oh this looks so cool how oh, it's just like on its own little island barely as well jeez i like how the first mansion it's like actually a mansion and then the last one basically just looks like a big souped up version of it while the ones in the middle are kind of just whatever stuff they're just different but out here on the veranda we get to do some more balance beams oh oh that's just lovely i'm just not going to move my controller at all that seems to be working just fine for me but my hands are starting to shake a little so okay Oh boy, I'm so excited to open the door. I remember this so clearly. This is one of my favorite moments of the game that I remember. Oh, okay, good. Luigi, don't fall. <laughs> no going back now. Here we go. Yes, I am going to slowly walk up here because it makes the tension a little higher. Oh, wait. Oh, no, we have the key in our inventory, right? Yeah, kind of gave it to us. Uh -huh. hmm. wow. Walter Pub. Oh, oh no. I see now. That's why this mission's called Front Door Key. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense. Look at that, booze, toads. See, look at that, all those portals. <gasps> there he is. We're finally getting a good look at him. King Boo. This is our first time ever really getting to see him like up close like this and how he is turning them into paintings. Very interesting. But we have a dog to go catch. 
attacks in here, though. You guys are pretty good at that. Uh-oh. They saw me peeping. That's unfortunate. Anything I can shake or something around here? Oh. Would you look at that? Oh. What is this, a mimic? Oh, okay. I was, I was, oh, it was just the sphere ball hurting me, right? Like, what the heck, a, a mimic in a Nintendo? Well, actually, I can't say that. There's mimics in Kid Icarus Uprising. <laughs> so this wouldn't be the first time a Nintendo game had his mimics in it, especially because this game did come out about a year after Kid Icarus Uprising did. Um... Yeah. I would love to be able to do a Let's Play of Kid Icarus Uprising, but I just don't think I have a good way to do it. I, I love that game so dearly. I will probably mention it a million times on this channel. Um... But it, it's so good. What's down here? Does this take me like back here? Yeah, very nice. Okay. Blow out the candles. I love finding gold greenies. Okay, let's see if I can't get the triple zap just for even more money on top of all the money that he gives. Anything... Uh, super interesting over here other than that. No, no gemstones. <clears throat> mm. I like how you can see all the, the portals and stuff on the mini-map. I didn't really notice that when we were playing uh, the secret mine. But here we go. Whoa. Down the well. I, I don't remember these honestly at all. So we're not even really going to do the main bulk of the mansion in this mission. Oh, man, I, I shouldn't have sucked him up. Oh, I, I had learned this uh, already. This is going to be a... Oh, no. Usually it seems like these require three pools. So let's actually take it. Oh, my goodness. This place has so many floors. Um, There's the first floor. Second floor. Oh my god, there's so much to this mansion. I remember the first floor's layout. That looks familiar to me. The second floor is even bigger than I honestly thought it was. Uh, I guess we'll open this up. We can probably look through. Uh-oh. Yep, there they are. Immediately just giving us strong greenies. Actually. There's- you are- you are wielding a- Actually, that's probably more like a long sword, isn't it? It just looks big in your hands. But it's probably a long sword. Come on. Get in the vacuum. Thank you. What? What? Okay, hold on. I want multiples here. I need to get multiple ghosties. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Get in the vacuum, guys. Get in the vacuum. That's exactly where I wanted you to take me, Mr. Slammer. Thank you. And I'm not going to get very much out of this. Come on, come on. Yes. Oh, I barely got that. I was I was really pushing. I was about to get nothing for that, but I'm glad I did that. Um Wait, no. No, I can I can definitely knock this guy's head off or something. Shake the armor maybe? Oh, doggy bone. Yes. Okay. And what's in here? What do we got? There's Polterpup. Um, heading further down. I'm looking for underground lab. Jungle exhibit, ancient exhibit, haunted catacombs, cliffside, dun dungeon cells. Ceremonial chamber. I've got to be honest, these... These are not fun sounding um, areas to be in. Oh, what's this? Just opens the gate. Can we get down there? 
I see the gemstone. Um, I'll have to remember to go get that somehow. I gotta get this higher. Okay. Huh. Ceremonial chamber. Is there a door or anything over here that I can... Uh-oh. Uh, wait, but... This is not really going to take me anywhere, is it? No. Okay. Uh, also, I want this. Can I pick up the lantern? No. I guess not. All right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's... Of course, it's just another one of these. What, what did I expect? Um... Uh, oh, I see. Okay. So I need to uh, shoot this, light it on fire with the sconces. Or, you know what? We can just light it here. That's probably where you're actually supposed to do it. Yep. And then these will light it up. And we're good. All right. But what'd that do? Oh, it's just gonna let me take this. I see that chest. I see chest. I will get the chest. Oh, God. Oh, this is our tutorial for this. Okay, I know exactly what this is then. I thought we were gonna have to uh, roll the rug, but no, we will be pulling the rug out from under you. This is a tutorial for the boss fight. I remember this. Well, I don't remember these guys. I just remember the boss fight involves the rug pulling. Um, and so we'll take advantage of it here, too. Might as well flash these as well. But, um, yeah, it's, I, I didn't remember that they introduced it this early, honestly. That's cool. I like that. Can I get my chest or is the chest gone? No, it's still here. Okay. Money! That's just the throne. You can shake that. Nice. There's infinite rugs here, isn't there? That's kind of funny. Okay, before we head down, does B2 connect to this? Yes. Okay, that's what I saw earlier. So, I'm, I'm cool with going down already then. Um... We'll keep chasing after Polter Pup. I'm assuming this is the last time we have Polter Pup involved in the game, which he's in the game more than I thought, honestly. I thought that um, he only showed up once or twice. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> is there some sort of catch here? Oh, you just follow the... Uh, the footprint, I assume if I... Oh, no, this is actually an edge. Okay. It's like, if I go over here and I pull this... Okay, I assume this just sends you... Yeah, okay. Um, so just keep following Polter Pup's trail and all will be fine. Wait, did it go this way? Yeah, it did. Okay. I love these armored statues. I would really like to get by, though. Thank you. Okay. Give me a gemstone. What? There's no way that that's not a gemstone. This is like way too hidden to not give me one. Oh. <laughs> Tried to trick me opening it the second time worked though. Uh, is there any gimmick to this one that I need to think about? Doesn't look like it really. Oh, that it's just that there's the knights. But we're all good. Grab this. Lots and lots of money. And get on out of here. Very cool. 
discovering all these secrets, and yet I can't seem to find the, um... <laughs> it's honestly a miracle I did not get hit there. <laughs> Nothing on these. Where's Polter Pup gone? Back. Back. We'll just keep going backwards. There's not a thing here. I guess there just isn't one. You win this time, game. You win this time. Okay, I think this is where I want... Oh, I see a gem. I see a lot of gems. Or is that the same gem? I think this is where the boo is. That the armor comes alive. It's, they're just like... Uh, Dr. Frankenstein. Behold the scientific genius of these greenies. Oh, sneakers. Oh, lovely. Oh, they. So, wait. So, the sneakers actually have a melee attack? It looked like he did one. Alright, I want to know where the sneaker is the most. There we go. Please don't hit me. I'm just gonna get out of your way. Nope. Guess that's not happening. But got you both. Get in the vacuum. Beautiful. Okay, so there is this gemstone here. How do I get it though? And then we can do this. Ah, ah, I see. Arf, arf, grr, better run from bulldog. Ah, uh, I see. Very funny. Uh, where did you go? Oh, oh, there you are. Oh, God, I hate these spirit balls sometimes. This is the most trouble I've had with a boo in quite some time. All right, there we go. 40 health. Yeah, I expected a bit of a health increase. So it seems like the boo health is going to cap out at around 50 in this game. A lot better than the first game where it was, what, like 300 or something? Right, yeah, it was 300. Granted, the health system in this game works quite a bit differently, but... Well, not too many more of you to put into the vacuum. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I assume what I can do grab this night helmet and break these. Yeah. I will gladly take some hearts, please. Uh, where'd the night helmet go? There it is. So that is our first gem of the mansion acquired then. Oh, they're white. Ooh, I like that. And that is indeed just the first one. All right. I do want to go on ahead and take the time to get this. I feel like I'm going to be need... I feel like I'm just going to be taking a lot of damage throughout this whole mansion. I'm just going to need all the health I can get. And that's fine. That's all right with me. I want to try to avoid game overs, though. If I can beat the whole game without a game over, that'd be kind of cool. But I don't know. Um, so where is Polter Pup? Down this way? And then this way. I keep going forward. I want to know what happens if I go this way. Okay, I just end up back here. Okay, that's fine. And what about here? Oh, this is its own path. Ooh, so I can keep exploring. Oh, but what if one of these goes to that cliffside that I want to get to? Okay, I think it was this way, and let's go this way, and this way, there's a gemstone, alright, there's a door here, you don't do anything it seems, but this is exactly where I wanted to get to, hey, look at that, we're figuring stuff out, we're, we're doing good. I want to get you. 
which that is the third gem, and we saw the second one, which we should be able to get more money. I'm gladly gonna take some treasure, like, why wouldn't I? Man, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm liking this mission. There's just so much stuff and secrets that I'm finding. Maybe, maybe I'm, I just haven't been great at finding them in some of the other levels, but there's just a lot of stuff you can do here. So I guess, uh, oh, the secret laboratory is just like in the middle of the haunted catacombs or whatever. I guess that's what the game considers it. So back in here. Okay. So it was down here and then back up. And then I could go to the right. Here's an armor set, but that's not fire. I need fire. Oh. Oh. I get it now. And it's fine if I end up at the beginning, because I know the path from here. That gets us that, and there's the gemstone. Very nice. Okay. So with that big detour out of the way, we can we can go on ahead and move forward. Um, which they at least made it pretty easy to follow Polterpup. This all was pretty optional. I see a door here. This is just the door we came from. That's right. Okay. This was a cool little section, though. I liked this. I actually liked this quite a lot. Anything here? No? Alright. I assume we're getting close to the end. Dungeon cells. Just because we're getting close to, like, that basement floor or whatever. Or the bottom basement. If I look at the map. Oh, we are on the bottom basement floor. Yeah. Strong hiders! Finally, 75 health. Okay, so they... All of them pretty much have quintupled health, aside from the sneakers, I think. I think they're the only one that's quadrupled. Are these all gonna have hiders in them? Oh, that that's just shaking all of those. What about this? I'm gonna need the water bucket for something. I might as well go on ahead and grab it. Ah, I see. Nice plant. And then it's going to give me money. How lovely. I also see this over here. Okay, that's not doing anything. Do I just end up on the other side anyways? No. Then I think that I should be able to take your head off. Come on. Knock it off, Luigi. No? Okay. Then the dark light? Okay, no, I'm gonna have to do something there anyways, because that's where Polter Pup ran to. That's a gemstone, meaning... Oh wait, I, I can just walk through here? Oh no, this is a this is a bomb. <gasps> I can play chess. Luigi probably isn't the best at chess, but that's fine. Is this gonna be Polter Pup? No. What's this gonna be? Ah! Is it the same story here? Or can I just... Eh! See, look at that. Look at that. Very nice. And then I can use the dark light on. Oh no, you just have to do this anyway. Man, I was hoping this was a secret. Well, Polter Pup. Actually, I was gonna say it's been fun, but we're not done, because I want to see what's over here in the corner before we actually capture him. So he gets to stick around for a little bit. I thought we were gonna have to go this way, but. Uh, considering that does not seem to be the case at all, I might as well get this extra cash. This is very cool, though. 
that there's this little extra bit here at the edge. I like that. Wait, did I go all the way back? Yeah, I did. Okay. Very, very cool. The polter pups. There he is. Because usually the end of the missions with polter pup is capturing him, so... Um... Go ahead and zap you up. And there we go. Man, I didn't remember this mission at all, honestly. That was very fun, though. Bravo, Luigi. Sometime, or someone needs to put that a leash on that blast of pooch. Hey, you're pretty far from the mansion's entrance now. It'll be faster for me to bring you back here and then send you up to the entrance. Hold on. So, why does he need the pixelator for like like a specific screen for the toads yeah he seems to just be able to pixelate luigi from wherever in the mansion he feels like i don't get it and yeah i am gonna question i don't care if this is a mario series game all right like <laughs> i'm gonna question things nearly two thousand from a single mission jeez does that put me up to the twenty thousand or am i still like another thousand off we're about to find out anyway then we can see the the strong hiders bio since that is the final uh ghost that we need other than the possessor and that one in the middle on the last page and then i assume the last one's king boo um but yes yes egad you look very happy welcome back youngster nice work hunting down that front door key that dog really took you for a walk ho Gems, gems, gems. Oh, wait. We're actually putting him in this time. He's not escaping. Okay, yeah, we're about 500 off. 336 away from that uh, super poltergust or whatever it is. I can't wait to find out what that actually is. Ah, got you now, you spooky mutt. I made some adjustments to the capture mechanism so he couldn't escape this time. Although you didn't encounter as many ghosts as I thought you would. However, that was just the basement of the treacherous mansion. Who knows what the rest of the place has in store for you. The mansion looks a lot creepier than the last time I saw it. I wonder who's been redecorating. Anywho, I'll adjust the pixelator to send you to the mansion's entrance. In the meantime, why don't you do some training in the scare scraper? You'll need to keep your skills sharp to make it through the treacherous mansion. Honestly, the scare scraper's probably got a lot more difficult stuff than you might find in the scare scraper. But I'm pretty cool with that. That was a fun mission. Double trouble. That's something we'll worry about later though. What was that snapping noise? Um into the vault we go. To check it out before we end off today. Love going into the vault. Every time. I love the design of the scare shaper, guys. How many is there anyway? A whole lot. I can't tell if, if oh my god, that is actually just a ton. Um Strong Hider. Now that these ghosts have been augmented by the crystals, capturing them is even trickier. It's best to wait until they show themselves to stun them. And the possessors. Oh, this is Polter Pup. I haven't come up with a name for this mischievous and adorable polter pup yet. He's caused us a whole mess of trouble, but I think the playful tyke just wants someone to take him in. He's so cute. <laughs> I do love him so much. I just realized that we can actually like zoom in on them and rotate. It'd be really nice if you could get rid of the bio, but okay. So what's this going to be then? That is the question. Well then. Uh, I guess I'll end this video here, and I will see you guys next time where we will be taking on the second mission, Treacherous Mansion. Bye-bye.